Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. Oh, no. What? What? Is it Julia? No, it's my dream girl from the bookstore. She's sitting over there at the bar. Well, she is gorgeous. Yeah, there's just something about Asian women. They're just so refined and delicate. What do you say? White women aren't refined and delicate? <laughs> Come on, she's there alone, now's your chance. Oh, I, I don't know, Major. Oh, it's happening. My lips are starting to go numb. My knees, are... where are my knees? Anthony, 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 pull yourself together. Now, she looks like a real sweet person. Why don't you just go over there and say hello? You just pay her a compliment or something. I would love to, Charlene, but I'm busy having a coronary. Oh, now, Anthony, come on, you're a great guy. Let's go over there and charm her, and there'll be no stopping. Come on, come on. I'll come with you. It'll be all right. Just don't do that hyena laugh thing, OK? <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name's Mary Jo, and, and this is my friend and business associate, Anthony Bouvier. And he was just saying how lovely you are and, <laughs> and uh, that uh, he'd really like to uh, talk to you. Isn't that right, Anthony? Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, you saw Anthony today in the bookstore. Oh, no, 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 that, that, that wasn't me. I get that all the time. See, there's this real clumsy guy here in Atlanta who looks exactly like me. You know, they say that everybody has a twin somewhere. Uh, could I join you for a drink? Well, I think you should be fine without me. <laughs> well, how'd he make out? Good. Boy, is that girl exquisite, just like a porcelain doll. Hey, bartender, get this guy brewski, huh? <laughs> and I need some more peanuts. Move your butt.